of God of War. This is Severus Condemned here, and this will probably be the last stream for the whole entire story of it. Because of the fact that I'm probably not going to be interested in doing this side quest. They're way too complex, I've already done it, I've already platinum the game. Kind of pointless of me to try and go over it again. Now... If you haven't seen my previous video, obviously I was going to do this today, but secondly, I also posted in the previous video that I did that there is an album out called The Cure. It's actually an EP by Project Ascension, one of the bands that I've been working closely with. And last night I also did a show with them. So, they're all over Facebook, feel free to check it out, they're pretty fucking amazing, dude. I'm guaranteeing you that you will enjoy it. Never know. So, yeah. Bazinga! Well, shit, that was quick. Welcome aboard, Steph Sunday. It is a pleasure to see you, of course. So, nevertheless, welcome into my stream. My day has been going pretty smoothly. How are we going thus far? Ah, damn, I need to catch up with Ruby, don't I? I feel... I feel kind of behind. Like, I'm being legit. I feel so far behind. <laughs> it kind of sucks. But, you know, it's whatever. Alright. Where were we? Because I think this is going to be a relatively short stream. Ah, oh, bruh. So I interrupted your writing process? Fuck. That sucks. That fucking blues. I hate to be that guy to interrupt your writing process, but I hope you do enjoy what I'm doing here, nevertheless. Alright, so... To kind of just recap of where we left off at... Oh, nope, I'm writing the outfits on my phone while watching on my PC. Damn, you are quite the multitasker. Okay, so to just kind of leave off where we left off at, we got sucked up in the serpent. We got out of hell, we got everything all on track, yada yada, all the good shit was done. We even got to see Tyr's temple. We got to figure out how he's able to travel between dimensions and dimensions. Because he literally used a freaking key right under Odin's nose. Or was that the whole entire... Or was it the whole plot all along to use that? Question is, was it even worth it in the end? Ah, strategic minds would think alike, but you know, it's whatever. Oh, the reasoning why we can see everything is because of the light of Alfheim. If you haven't noticed during the entire game, we actually gathered the living fuck out of it. We gathered it and we restored the temple to its normal retroactive state. Let's find that statue. After, um, Atreus had his little fucking hissy fit of being a god and, you know, going on a killing spree, and, you know, getting us trapped in hell, we finally found reconciliation and understand their story a little bit more. It's just like, okay, let's just focus, we ventilated, we're chill. Oh, not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like Heather Ale fermenting. Oh my god, Mimir, of course you would say that. But, bruh, bruh, it ain't pleasant, what the fuck you on about? Why are you high as a kite? Calm your titties. Hey, what's over here, by the way? I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna pick it up. The water kind of burns it. That is what, isn't it? <laughs> I love how he says most of it. Well, listen, as a chemist, that is basically the acidity of bile within your body, my dude. Imagine it in a worldwide serpent with a pH of, um, you know, let's say something corrosive, like about maybe a four to a three. Luckily, it's not hydrochloric acid, but look, how does it maintain its, how does it maintain that corona the inside? The gut produces a line of basicity like any animal does. Holy shit, we're being nerds today. Oh, wait. Goody. Okay. There, the hammer. So, apparently, um... Lou joke here, but um, basically what happened was what Odin did to um, Mimir's other eye is he put it inside of a statue, but the statue was of Thor's dick. Maybe just to kind of show off his dick and be like, hey, I'm going to be the dominant one here. But you know, that's just kind of disgusting. Wait a minute, i got to do something here. 
So literally I'm going to have to go back and probably hit something here because of the... F hey, listen, you're going to come here for a biology class whether you like it or not. I will fucking ingrain it into your fucking mind if I have to. Alright, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming along and sticking on by. Where the hell is the damn thing? Okay. So, I can't really remember where the other thing is to knock it in position. Or am I supposed to climb up? Is that the whole entire aspect of it? Because I could be fucking up here. I think I'm fucking up here. Hold up. Not gonna make that. Not gonna make that, but, you know, where? Okay. I'm getting annoyed by this. I'm already getting instantly annoyed by this. Where the hell is it? Okay, so... <sighs> that's where I'm a little bit confused at, boys and guys. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's where it was. I know there was a mechanic here that you had to melee at least a few times to get it rotating. Alright. It's not close enough, is it? Okay, perfect. Now I got the mechanic just right. So, okay, it's a little bit finicky. That's why. I don't know if I'm going to even... Like, it's a finicky mechanic, guys. It's just so weird in general. Okay, now we can get on that board, and we could just, uh... Yeah, okay. Cool. Pull that. We should be starting to move ro momentarily. Excellent! Yes! Alright, we are making progress. I like that. It's not like I can still see through it. Um, technically we can, quote unquote. You know, speaking of nerdy shit, I'm... Speaking of nerdy shit, like... I'm a chemist, obviously. Um, we're gonna have to go over some shit again. Because our professor literally is making us retake um, our third exam. Because everybody fucked up on it. He's like, oh god, this is terrible. Retake your final exams. <laughs> you fucked it up. <laughs> we are conditioning you. <laughs> yo, 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 Zach. How you doing, my boy? Yep, that's an I. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Damn. Ivor. 10 out of 10, right, guys? You don't miss depth until it's gone. Oh yeah, buddy. Look, you got plopping. Hey, Zach, I'm so sorry, dude. I know you got to see Raccoon City Massacre. You saw my boys. You saw Barry, Hickman, and Brandon. They were fucking lit. I know that much. I know that was a pretty good scene, wasn't it? Okay, we're not gonna do the Niflheim just yet. Because I still gotta get the keys from Musfelheim, unfortunately. There's a 4 out of 4 chance that I'm missing here. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and progress into the belly of the beast. Oh, another boat. Yeet. Oh, uh, they were fired. Dude, you missed the Babylon one yes, last night, dude. It was fucking insane. I mean... Granted, it's a small venue, but we got 30 to 40 people to fill it out, and it was fucking wild. We're going to Yudnam. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting feet? See, and Mimir's point here is very fucking... It's to the point, because you feel that shaking the rumbling of your of the stomach. Doesn't seem good. So, I also want to kind of point this out. If you're inside of a giant serpent, you're gonna have to question why do you even exist. Uh, Zack saying shit. Ah, uh, shit, bro, it happens. Like, you know, it's just like... You remember it, but then you forget about it, but then you remember it, then you forget about it. It's whatever. But back to the point of this entire thing. Why would you be inside of a serpent? You're about to get eaten up like you're some goddamn jello. Literally. It's like, here, get inside my stomach. If you want to get the side just to go to this place, go ahead and do it. Discovering Vor. 
Well, I guess we could call it Vort Discovery at this point, because literally we're inside the mouth of a beast that isn't supposed to happen, but you know what, it's what the fuck. So how do we get back out? We think Okay, concerning 101, because, um, because right here, right here, ladies and gentlemen. No, something is wrong. Yeah, something is wrong. It sounds like it's being knocked around. You're wondering what that is. I don't even know what that is at that point. Ew, no, nobody likes four. Also, I think the serpent does not like the idea of eating somebody up like that. Okay, Thor's into it, but you know, we must hurry. he gets to kill people on the edge, so it doesn't matter to him. He just gets a fucking erection. Eh, eh, eh. Just gonna lightly tap it as to just kind of take time. It's just like, okay, when's he gonna react? Is he gonna flip shit? Is he gonna go insane? Am, am I am I gonna see the end of it all? Oh boy. Hi, wonder, wonder, wonder. Ooh, wonder, waja, waja. He. Okay, fuck it. I'll just go in. This is probably gonna be the shortest stream I ever did. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bruh. Bruh. This is what happens when you jump in. Oh boy. Boy? Boy! I'm good. I think I'm getting kind of used to this. Are you sure you're still getting used to this? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Okay, so we were discovered earlier, and I will point this out, that Freya is actually... Baldur's mother. Trust her, right? Until we know for certain, keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Well, bitch, you tell me. You tell me what the fuck's wrong here. You didn't tell me. Oh, hey, here comes your lovely, lovely, lovely son. He's here. Oh. I had a feeling hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the Fucking open. idiots. Do you have any idea? Any idea at all? What you have cost me. Big dick energy. My boy. Mother, mother, ooh, that means to make you cry. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, mother. I know that you're still angry. Oh, what tip the hell off of that, that stuff? Changed, but I, I want you how, how I feel? How I feel? I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I 
ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk, vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You know, the YouTube said, This path you walk, you will find no penis. I know. That's what the YouTube poop says. I kind of wonder if I could just think about that for five minutes. Oh, dicks. This. This again, yes. Okay, I might die a few times, so let's see. What the hell? Ah, yeah, I should not have used my abilities like that. I should have parried him first and then do that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> yep. Well, only in more. Ah, okay, Freya, you bitch. Make me. Excuse me, he regenerated? Oh. Oh. Get the. Get that shit off of me! Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! 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 The boy that's redeemed himself! No! Not my blood. Oh, whose blood then? Yes. Yes, now we can kill him. It gets gets me. Yes, yes, yes. Destroy the child. Feel everything. Oh yeah, you feel everything, don't you? Now, time to make your tickle to pickle. Oh yeah! We can fucking kill him if we want to. You know, he was trying to be nice and saying thank you, but the mom has to ruin everything and be like, oh. Then again, the mother is trying to protect her child. It's typical. But, you know, Baldur's a shithead. He should have died a long time ago. No. Do you hear the wind? We are moving. We are moving now, boy. Do you not feel the face of the wind as it breezes through your body? Strap. Yes. Mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. Oh no. The boy is right. He remembers now. Is he controlling that thing? Stay out of it! I can reason with him! No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! Wait, no what? One can. Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him! Uh, I, I hate these interactions. Um... Oh, thank god. I don't know. You will stop this now. Wait, what? What is this madness? Ah, shit. I wasn't even paying attention for that second. 
Like, fuck me, man. Alright. Let's just get this right. Wait, does that mean I have to restart the whole entire- No, because it goes by cutscene, I forget. Ah, I keep forgetting he dashes. Okay, so he technically just dashes all around the place, and... It's... It's predictable, um... It's patterns. They're predictable, but it's just like, okay. Bet you that wasn't predictable. Okay, that didn't register a block. Okay, that's weird. Okay, how do I deal with this boss? How do I deal with him is the question. Okay. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, I double tap my, um, I double tap my, uh, shield, that's why. Ah, uh, damn. I have to be very analytical about every move I'm making. Nope. Get I feel. I feel. Oh, he feels. Feel the pain. The misery sort. Okay. Okay, I can kill. Yeah. Get the fierce of God! Oh fuck. Okay, quit switching elements for God's sake. Oh fuck. Can I get that health, please? Thank you. Oh, fuck. No. No, no, no. No way, Chief. No. God, this is a very conservative game! Oh fuck. Ah, I had a rhythm. Okay, so. He switches between elements periodically, so I have to make sure to block him, counter him, smack him, and then I can actually do damage to him. Jesus. There we go. There we go. Can Greek beard beat Norwegian beard? You know, why don't you ask yourself that? Oh fuck. There we go.
This is not protection. This is a broken condom. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Get the Okay, enough of that shit. Ah! Okay. Calm down with that shit. Can you not be that to kid? Okay, cool. No! <laughs> no! I don't want to stop! I want to keep fighting, Mom! Mom! Let me fight! Oh, I gotta lift this fucking thing. Hear me tapping? You hear me tapping? Shoot! Yeah! Oh, no! Oh, they should put like a GTA wasted thing on there. Jesus Christ. Are you up there? Or are you down here? I can't make a comparison. Okay, look, I know you're into your pseudomasochism bullshit, but you need to stop that right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, this needs to stop. In the name of the law, fucking stop. Fuck off of me. Get the fuck off me. Ah! <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> Damn, man! It's like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh! You see what I'm dealing with, right, guys? Norway, the anime, yes. You know what? Fuck this. Are you done? Fuck out of here, Jesus. Okay, you. He's literally Madara. Fuck! You cool? Fucking Madara 101 here. Ah! Y'all just piss off for five minutes. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he just fucking decided to say, Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and just tomahawk him. Hey guys, this is Call of Duty now. <clears throat> Comedy thing I should say. Can you piss off? Thank you. 
Ah. Uh, come on! Good lord, man. I'm just trying to relax here. And these motherfuckers are just like, here, let me bungee jump on you. Like, ooh. <laughs> Son, get on my back. Boy. Atreus. With me. Now. Damn, that is one fucked up giant. Like, he's like a cancer patient, I swear. Got like type 2 cancer. Oh fuck. Ugh, fuck you. Yes! Yes. I am the god of war! I am the god of war! No! I am the god of war! Oh boy. You're gonna have to fire at him. <laughs> Literally, WWE. <laughs> Die with me! Oh, this cinematic was sexy. Look at this. That's right, Freya. Moaning bitch, but you ain't getting shit. Uh, uh, yeah. No. No. Strangle them. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Fuck. No! Son! I want to thank you. Both of you. You've done what even the All Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Well. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>! <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> I mean, whatever shit they gave him was pretty good. Alright, time to waste all my rage. Because I'm a pissed off angry man. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just landed myself into that shit. <laughs> no plan at all. Just like said, yeet, I'm gonna jump on in. Like it out! Take my fist. <laughs> oh, you bitch. Alright. You wanna do this? Ooh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. I saw that happening a mile away. No. when I saw it happening. No, but you summoned it to me. Swedish Shasuke no Jutsu. I'm sorry, not even a fuck. Because you are annoying. Ah! Um, no. Can you... Can you not do this to me right now? I'm having a bit. No! No! Respect my authority! Uh, fucking bitch! I'm talking to you! Ooh. 
Stop giving me that fucking suck. I know you just- We're not a joint. Come on, no. We are not a joint. No. We don't have the good THC. We have DMT. You're gonna be seeing aliens and shit, bro. Come on, calm down. No, no. Okay, my boy did it. My boy. That's my good boy. Good boy. Fuck, dude. Do I wear condoms? anime of you. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you a whole. A fucking Sasuke. It's like <laughs> I hate you so much, mother. You gave me immortality, therefore I should kill you for making me suffer. <laughs> yes, let's just destroy it all. Destroy. <laughs> Now, if Freya were to sound like that in bed, I'd, I'd probably be like, wait, my dick's confused. Jizz. Fuck. Oh no. Oh god, why am I why am I releasing flakes? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, 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 my boy. My dear sweet boy. Freya. He chose this. I will Rain down. Every agony. Mm. Every <sighs> violation imaginable upon you. Oh, damn. I will parade 
Your cold body. Okay, wait, never mind. Every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. Are, are, are you certain? He robbed me of everything. And in the YouTube poop, it says she was raped of everything from him. Everything. Everything? Are you certain? on your cruelty and rage you will never change and you do not know me I know enough does he boy listen close I'm from a land called Sparta I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. Very. But, but many who oh, let's it. see. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. I'm not crying, you're crying. Well, I guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. So, it is true. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tears Temple then. One last time. I Jotunheim awaits. <clears throat> Here's the thing about that. The reason why Kratos can always say that is if you know from the entire eight games that he's been mourning so much about his dead his dead first wife and his dead first child. Vanier magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. It's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. More stupid decisions. I thrive on it. Oh, I just knocked over that uh, hack silver like it was nothing, you know, just like a redheaded stepchild. If you understand my drift, then yeah, there you go. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. 
Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than this. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. Now, I want you guys to keep note of this. If Freya had her fighting spear revoked, she's fueled on vengeance alone. What do you think she's going to do next? I'll let that be put into thought. Anyway, we're going to go back to the Tears Temple real quick just to finish up this quest. We still gotta donate the ashes to Jotunheim because that's where she wanted them to be. But, as you figure out later on, it's for other reasons too, that the reasoning why she wanted to, them to go there in the first place. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Not this place. We've already unlocked everything else. Wait. Hmm. Not the vault, but the temple, right? Yeah, okay. Alright. Uh. Good lord, frame rate, calm down. Here we go! Can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> now, Mimir. Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. That was kind of your fault for being, like, part of the entire scenario and pissing off Thor. Fucking smart ass. Oh, right. countless violations upon the head, damn. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, have you considered that? Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that's more pleasant than I would have thought. Now, boys. Now, put it there. Alright, passageways being open. Ten out of ten on that. We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing the heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fight... Same here. Slushes. I heard that, Zach. They are coming You're back. Done did it. I'm Sorry. excited. We had to see this. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay, I'm up here. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. <laughs> he fucking chickened out immediately. Okay. Hygienics are very important to this man, unfortunately. Ready. Are you ready, boy? We must go. Come. Come, Come now. We must do this. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, damn. Oh, Mimir. I mean, I, I call it like a, a very minor joke. But, you know, it's just like, hey, what did Brock ever do to him? What kind of probing devices does he have? Makes me kind of question, you know? All right. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! If I stuck around there too long, I might have been blind. That might have been a bad idea. All right. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. Nothing left to hide anymore, isn't there? Pa, my friend. I have nothing more to hide. You know... <sighs> I want to believe so. I don't think they will want to try and reproduce this actually since it's a serpent. We're so close. Oh my god, come on, Steph. No more skills for you. Oh my god, Zack, stop! No! This is cancer! This is cancer! Mother would want you to have it. Well, <laughs> unveiled in that light, he is purified. Oh my god, Steph. No, don't suggest these higher things. Then you'll have everybody who is just socially justified just to try and say, Here, I'm going to go on ahead and put a gender on the specific Boy. one. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. So, here's what I view about this. Oh my god. Alright. So, I mentioned something about what she had planned all along, right? I mean, obviously, you'll see in a second. What are these? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them? You, you guys are. You guys are just the reasoning why the chat went south. Y'all think of like very non wholesome things here, and I'm trying to explain a good story. Alright. Just as much as this chat went bad, you see these statues of giants that look frozen in time. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Oh yeah. They figured it out a long time ago. Huh, who's the guardian? Steph, there's nothing wholesome about that. Come on now. Be real with me. I should feel, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. 
Is there anything here that I need to grab before I go to the main thing? Hello, frame rate. That's fucking abundant. Oh my god, Steph, you're probably the reasoning why I'm gonna get banned. All right, Atreus, what'd you find? Something's happening. Oh, that, yeah. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. I didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Literally found a sequel to the game, but... Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? If mother would have had good reasons. Stuff the impure. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Death, yet betrayed. This was the predicted men all along, obviously. It's like, hey, Mother, always engaging with the um, giants. This is what she's showing, that this was prophetic in every way, yada yada. Yeah, literally, that would go with, like a relationship, Jesus Christ. Nothing that I would ship. Okay, obviously, this is portraying the events of, like, Balder being killed, grieving time, yada yada, and this is coming into the future. Let's see, where is it at? The, oh, damn, but still. Yeah, a friend of his Discordian. Discordian! But, yeah, that's the whole entire gist, that eventually in the sequel, Kratos is going to die, Atreus will probably have Look, to be the mantle mother's. of everything else. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Now, given the abilities of, um, Atreus, he's able to hear the thoughts and voices of spirits and animals alike. Portraying the voices. Which gives you the point of saying, hey, he's Loki. 
because that's literally in Norse mythology, the, uh, his abilities. He's not the shapeshifter as, like, NCU portrays it. Here we are. The climatic end of this journey. And a proper burial of the place. Thus, it shall begin. Why? No. We do it together. Son. And there's finally the acknowledgement. Oh, uh, besides the memes, this is just the story. Strongest hands, god damn it guys. I mean, he flipped the entire fucking temple that's connected to all the world. So what does it tell you? My name on the wall. Giants called me Loki. Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. That's a first. I never completed a story mode entirely on New Game Plus. What the hell does I give him? Armor? Let's let's just take a look for a second here. Oh, I can't switch to the boy? Fuckers. Alright, we shall not return to Tears Temple. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she wanna end up here? You with your kind? But did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? <laughs> Running around fucking everything. I could envision that. I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. At this point, Kratos has found a mutual respect for the boy. The acknowledgement, understanding, humility, empathy, all these characteristics have been recognized. 
A father's conventional honor. A father's wisdom. So the son being why redeemed. No. He was a soldier. A Spartan. The great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. The one time the Kratos ever talks about something is just a relative to home. It's usually more personified between him and his son because they're the most connected. In this realm, he feels like an outsider. Completely different. Why do you think he doesn't really share with Mimir and everybody else? Trust. Blood. It only matters to him, mainly. So, given that, he wouldn't bother talking about a good story. Only around his son, only meetings behind things. So, the character definitely has depth to why he's saying these things. Overall, I definitely love this story. It deviates more from after God of War 3. Just shows an afterlife, having fulfilled that case of vengeance, and seeing what it was like, realizing it wasn't worth it. It just goes to show how powerful it was in the end. Helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. <laughs> Small little exchanges like that is just like nice questioning. You could tell by just by looking at his age right now, Kratos is getting to that sense of wisdom that's typically in Spart typically Spartan. If you remember anything from world history or anything about um, possibly some some part of Greek history, Spartans they become part of a senate or anything like that when they come of age of sixty. At the age of sixty, their combating is no longer yet needed. It's more or less just conventional wisdom that comes forth about life, about war, about everything else. He's coming to that point. It's pretty obvious. So, nice little nifty things to just kind of mention. All right. Lads, am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Alright. Skips. Scap slag. E. It was good for banter. 
But, you kn okay, Beast, you know be based upon customs that at the age of 60 is when they stop combating. They they go into basically a semi-senate, more or less. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta hit this baby back. Yep. We're heading back to Midgard. Return to Midgard, I should warn you. The more time has passed than you want to realize. The slow fall that began when you slew Balder, it's become something else. The stuff of Owens. Of Owens, for the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok, from snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. What changed was literally basically killing Baller means the first long snow, which means Ragnarok will be triggered. Yeah, you, I can expect that for the um, Spartan thing. I'm telling you, it's Fimble weather. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of this guy? Just discussing the weather. A bit of a hope now lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my scroll. Yeah. We... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving. And also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. I'm gonna take the long route, I guess. Just to eat away for time for a bit. Make it full. Make it full. Do more want just another save, just say Ragnarok's coming around. That's all it is. Nothing that special. Actually, on second thought, maybe I do want to... Eh, no. I don't want to try and extend too far from time, so let's just go on ahead and... Do... Actually, no, let's discover the scenery here. Alright, winter is already coming upon them. Since the death of... Oh, I forgot the... Well, I could pick these up at another time if I really want to, but that's so long. Not worth timing. But yeah. Um. This is pretty much where we just reach to the story. You see the design, you see the shift in weather. It's obvious that, um, the Ragnarok will eventually come because Baldur has finally died. He was the only stronghold and preventative that actually stopped everything else from happening, sadly. Now, where the hell is my home? It's gonna be all the way... Nope. That's River Pass. Nope. That is... Wait, where are the skills, by the way? I'm kinda curious. Okay. What's this? Okay. That's no additional bonuses. It's kinda useless. I mean, 10 out of 10. But that armor, though, I'm curious. Do not get a champion? No, I'm gonna stick with Tunic get a champion. Cause look at that, Tunic get a champion's the best. I never gotten any of these. Just I was kind of curious to see what that was all about, but it doesn't really give you any specifics to how special it is. That's a side quest. That's home. Is there a way to get from home from here? I'm gonna make an active marker. Oh, I can't really make a waypoint. Shit. Why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? It was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir. 
Um, I'm not gonna do side quests on streaming wise. I mean, I could. I already done it all. This is just because I don't want to feel like doing it all over again, and I already grinded everything to a living hell. A means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. We knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trick yeah. and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, all right, be safe. Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Enough. No stories. That's well on foot. Our focus is the road. Well, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, my dude. I'll finish later, lad. I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey, not to learn more about the dwarf. Ah, screw it. You know what? I'm just gonna end it here because I think that's enough for today. When we reach the end, obviously on the hardest difficulty, what happens is it's just um that a cutscene comes out. It's just like a night. It's a dream about Thor coming in. Be like, who the fuck are you? Or is it a dream? It could be something real. But nah, that's about it for today. This is going to be a relatively short stream regardless. It only took about an hour and 16 minutes. So, that's not bad. Um, here are my thoughts overall about the story. The story is enigmatic in every way possible. It gives you a, del it gives you a deliberate background of everybody else. It gives you solace. It gives you power. It gives you everything. It gives you how Kratos has matured. It gives you the differences between characters. It gives you how what brought about Atreus' development in the story. It gives you background to what the mother was. It gives you how the Norse mythology all connects, intertwines, who are the opponents, yada yada. It gives you a sense of dynamic. And more senses of dynamic. The entire series itself is somewhat of a bit of a dynamic for Kratos, but this was just like a strong, strong switch around. He doesn't have everything. He doesn't have that rage, that youth. He has the wisdom, st the strategy, and everything else like that. Which gives him more of an advantage, nevertheless. But also, kind of like, slows him down in battle. But, the background between Mimir and Odin is just... It's a tangling thing when Mimir used to be an advisor and all that. He used to be an advisor... Noticing all the horrors that he committed, the atrocities that were laid upon, it is inevitably noticeable. So, I love the story, I love the world way play. The only issue I really have with this game sometimes is the load up time. Nothing else. Because it comes in periodically and you barely, barely have a load in screen. Barely do you have that. Which is becoming less and less apparent for this game. Now, the side quests for it, like the ones I'll be talking about, like Sigrun and any of the Valkyries, gives you more background to what Freya did and what Odin has done. It's pretty tasty. Tasty. Tasty story. Also shows you what the hell happened. What caused so much discord in Helheim. Because the discord in Helheim was just like, wow. You'd think souls would be processing through there, but it wasn't. Why did it happen? You never know. But nevertheless, this is the end of our journey. Um, next week, I'm going to probably try and do Diablo 3. Try to finish it up, because I've heard on the recent news that um, Diablo 4 Cinematic came out, and it's going to be pretty lit. But nevertheless, I think we've reached an end. Um, if you have enjoyed this entire series of God of War, anything else I have done so far, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Yes, this story is compared to Logan, is, but it's not with the incessant sense of death of the father. Not until it gets to the second game, regardless, but yeah. 
Anyway, this is Severus the Condemned, and I am currently signing off for the game. Leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends, shout me out, do anything like that. Hope you all loved it.